what's up? <laughs> surprise, surprise. We're doing maybe a couple random Halloween vlogs. Yeah. And tonight is the first one. Yes, it is. But we can't tell you where we're going or what we're doing yet. No, we can't. I can tell you one thing, though. It involves a flashlight. Yes. You just blinded them. Flashlight. You just blinded me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's where we're going. Yes. Well, that's not where we're going, but that's what we need to go. Where we're going. Where we're going. You'll just have to come with us and find out. You can pause the video right now and comment and guess, try and guess where we're going. Yeah, pause it, guess, and then see if you're right. Okay, let's do this. Super close. <laughs> Did you zoom in to my face? I zoomed into the sunset, but now I can't zoom out. It's not letting you? No, I think once you start recording, it doesn't let you zoom back out. So. Okay, we're on the way still. We left like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, because it's almost 7 o'clock. So, this is where we're driving. We're kind of in the country. A little bit. Yep. going away. I know, that's why we need a flashlight. Yes, that's why we need a flashlight. We'll see you when we get there. We are at a top secret location. Yes, we are. We We're have arrived. Parked in a field with tons of other cars. So I'm trying to find an app so when we come out later we can find it. It's probably like, right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're going to, we're, we're looking for an <laughs> <laughs> Amateur vlogger here. It's not like I've ever vlogged before or anything. We're trying to find an app so we can find our car later, and we don't know if one of those exists, but we're looking. I found something that says find your car, but it's taking a little bit to oh. load. So it's I taking find out what it is. Because we're in like the middle of nowhere right it now. It could be like a buy, like where you buy a car rather oh. than find your car. That is a very good point. Anyway, that's what we're doing. I'll You'll show you when we finally arrive at our top secret place. Location is so top secret that the sheriff is here. Okay guys, this is where we are. Look, it's a Julie. She was in the horse. Okay. This is our passport through the maze. We have to answer these questions. This one's my favorite. I don't know if you can read that. But it says, what is Canada's official winter sport and most popular spectator sport? Obviously the answer is ice hockey, and we will turn right when we get there. <laughs> Look. And phase one. You can't see it. Enter phase one. Here we go. It's really dark. <laughs> but we're going. Phase one. Hey, it's a carry, kind of. Kind of. We're at the corn maze. Yes. Oh look, darkness. Not that you can see anything. You can't hey, experience this I can see us. your back. That's really bright. I almost tripped over him. Uh, I'm blind. Okay. We're at station two. It says, which candy bar was named after a famous major league baseball player? The Charleston Chew, Baby Ruth, or Reggie Bar? It's a Baby Ruth, so it says to turn right. So if we're facing it, do we go that way then? That way, not that you can see. That way? That way. Or that way. Turning right would mean to turn that way. Yeah. So let's go this way. Okay. <laughs> Man, it's fun! There's the maze. So you can see all the lights of people walking through. We are going the right direction, so yay. We forgot to film at four. <laughs> yeah, we did. But we never found three. We just went straight to four because yep. we're awesome like that. 
so we need to go that way. Knows the, way. Yes, that's the question for four was what tennis great has won the most singles titles ever? Pete Sampras or Martina n n something I can't say. That. Yes. Perfect human. And the answer is ice hockey. So we're going right. We successfully made it out. At least of the first half. And now we're getting food. And we might use part two. No people. We need to go. We're about to go down this wonderful slide. I think Julie should go first. Okay. So I can film her. Maybe. Because I have both of our drinks in our hands. And they're big. And they are big. There's Julie getting ready to go down. Maybe next time. Are you having fun? Yes. I had corn and it was delicious. And you're drinking what? Sweet tea. So am I. Okay, time to get in line. Bye. <laughs> this would probably be better in the day, because you can't see anything. Oh well. Oh well. So we found the car without a nap. Because it was down the road from a porta potty, and I'm not going to show you my car because then you'd see my license plate. And I don't want you to see that. So I'll just wait until I'm close to it, and then I can be like. Yay! We're at our favorite place. That's our number. I'll go to bed. Because we get hungry and we go get tacos, and that was probably super weird. <laughs> I don't know. There's my drink. People that are from Texas are going to be like, what? What's a taco cabana? Just like they were probably like, what's an H-E-B? Yeah. Taco cabana is a fast food Mexican restaurant, kind of like Taco Bell, but so much better. And it originated right here in San Antonio. I've been to the original one. We went on a field trip in high school to the original Taco Cabana. Really? I'm not even joking about that. <laughs> I mean, we went other places too, and we ate lunch at the original Taco Cabana, but... It's a Mexican patio cafe. It's a... Can you see that? I don't know. There we go. The Mexican Patio Cafe. Saves under $5 chicken fajita bowl. Or burrito. Okay. Bye. So it's the next day, and I just wanted to show you the decorations I did on my house. There's the jack-o'-lanterns, and some pumpkins, and then there's some pumpkins over here. Yay. So, Julie and I got these mini pumpkins at the pumpkin patch where we were last night, and now we're painting them and watching baseball, and the Giants are winning, and that's stupid. Because I don't really like either of these teams, but I like Joe Kelly, and he's on the Cardinals, so I guess I'm going for the Cardinals. That was my rant while you look at a pumpkin. What are you doing? I'm looking up. There's a dog at work. 
and he's a type of hound, and I'm trying to find out what type of hound he is, because the type of hound he is, they smell like tortillas. Not even kidding. If you smell his head, he smells like tortillas. It's really funny. I'm trying to figure out what exactly kind of hound he is. I'll let you guys know when I find out. Okay. Wolves recording now. Maybe Shiner broke it. <laughs> Don't do that. I want to play with Siri. You should let me. <laughs> oh, you have an iMessage. It's okay. I want to play with you. Now playing with you. Uh, okay, Siri. Way to have this on your phone. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. I can't think of anything funny. I'm on the spot now. Do you have any ideas? No. Let's go on a date. I found 15 dating services. Six of them are fairly close to you. That's not what I meant, Siri. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. <laughs> I meant that I want to go on a date with you. I found 15 dating services. She's not very, she's not very bright. Where do I put a dead body? To whom shall I send it? I need a contact name, phone number, or email address. She's going to send your dead body to someone? Where do I bury a dead Julie, body? I don't understand. So, to whom shall... She doesn't listen sometimes. Where do I bury a dead body? I don't know what that means. If you lie, She's lying. She knows what that means. She just doesn't want to give us the answer. Sorry, I don't understand. Where do I bury a dead body? Yes. She says that a lot. Shall I send it? Oh my I god, she won't stop talking. Phone number or email address. <laughs> Siri, who is the best pitcher in the world? Here's the roster for the Tigers. The whole Tigers team? <laughs> Who's the best pitcher on the Tigers, maybe? Siri, who is the best pitcher on the Tigers? Here's the roster for the Tigers. Apparently, Siri just wants to give you the roster. Do you like the Tigers? Okay, this is the roster for the Tigers. Maybe you should restart, Siri. I think she's a little tired. Do you like the Detroit Tigers? If you like the Tigers, then so do I. Yay! <laughs> Series of Tigers fan. Ask her if she likes Justin Verlander. Do you think Justin Verlander is attractive? <laughs> I'm sorry, Julie. I'm afraid I can't answer that. That means yes. Obviously.